Hey guys, what's poppin? So today we have a highly requested leak tutorial, which is how to change your language in Japanese. Yes, it is possible, and no, it is not bannable. It is actually quite easy as well. I just feel like I haven't covered that properly in the last video I made for 2018. However, as you guys can see, it is obviously 2019, duh, and it's finally a time to update the video. First off, for any of you asking, yes, it is possible to change your language to Korean as well. However, it is much much harder so i won't be covering that here we simply won't have enough time so this is just for japanese if you want me to cover that um how to change your language to korean i can just comment down below if you guys are interested in that um this will change your launcher your in-game text character voices basically like you're playing on the japanese server like you'll get that full experience all right i'm just opening my lee client real quick Right now, it won't make much sense, but I just want to show you guys how the default lead client should look like. So as you guys can see here, I'm from US, I'm playing on US, so only languages I'll have, obviously, is English, um, German, Spanish, French, and Italian, that's it. So I want the Japanese client on an Europe server, and this is basically impossible, as you guys can see here in the options. So what you want to do... Um, we'll have to edit one game file. It is quite easy, so you don't have to worry about that. You want to open your uh, file explorer. Explorer. Fuck. I can't even say that. Um, go to your my computer and then the local disk that you've installed the league on. So here I have in C. I have Riot Games. I want to click on that. League of Legends. Afterwards, you want to go to this folder called uh, RIDS. You want to click on that. Um, after that, you want to go to projects, league underscore client. Here you'll see this uh, folder called releases. You want to click there. And um, here you'll probably have a bunch of folders. My league client is fairly new, so I have only two. These are the updates. Um, you want to go to the latest release, basically. So here, as you guys can see, 202 is the latest one. Before that comes 201. And... Um, I obviously want to go to the latest release because that's the release my lead client is using. So I'm going to go to 202, deploy. And here you want to look for a file called system.yaml. You want to double click on that actually. Uh, click on the notepad. Press OK. All right, now we see this in the notepad here. Wait, let me center that. Perfect. All right. Excuse me. Damn, I'm dying. The energy drink is really getting the best of me. So you want to scroll down until you see region data. All right. So here's the deal. Depending on what region you're playing, you want to add a line. So for example, as you guys saw, I'm playing on EU West. So I'm going to search for EU West. This is for Brazilian region. Um, this is EU and E. This is EU West here. So these are the languages we've saw. This is the German, Spanish, French, Italian, and the English. So here I'm gonna add another line and type in J A underscore J P capital. J P should be capital. J A uh, lowercase underscore and then J P uh, J P yeah capital. As you guys could see here. Um, for example, if you're playing in NA, I'm playing in EU West, so I'll, I added this under EU West. If you're playing in NA, you're going to look for an NA one. Here, NA. You just add the same thing. There you go. You want to click on X. Save. Alright. Now you can close that. Start up your league again. Now that the league has started, um, you'll see the region slash language here. You want to click there, make sure you selected your server, EU West, right? And now if you scroll down, we see Japanese, which is what we want. So we're going to click on that. And here we go. We'll have to restart our uh, launcher, first of all. Because you need to update your uh, launcher with the language and so on. So this is going to take a while. 
So I'm just gonna skip this pretty much and show you guys the end product. Actually, I don't even need to do that. I can just log in right away and you guys will be able to see. God bless. Oh shit. All right, here we go. We don't even have to wait until the downloading is finished. I'll just show you right away. How will this thingy look like? Okay. All right, well, that takes a while, Jesus Christ. Okay, so here we are. We are logged in into the account. Um, It is pretty Japanese, as you guys can see. Um, this thing is still loading. It's probably because I'm downloading, I don't know. It just takes a while, I guess. My PC is a toaster. Anyway, um, everything is in Japanese here. Only problem is the missions are in Japanese as well, so you won't know exactly what to do. So that's probably gonna be one of the problems. So you probably wanna wait until the missions are done. And then, like, switch your client to Japanese because it's quite confusing. So as you guys can see here, literally as I said, everything is in Japanese. If we go here over to the Champions tab, literally everything. Um, where are the masteries at? To be honest, I have no clue. Yeah, even the masteries. So if you don't know the stats very well, I do not recommend you selecting Japanese language, but hey man, those voices are just too clean. So I want to jump into the game real quick and show you guys how all of that looks like. So let's create a custom game. Um, we'll just create a custom one. Um, here we'll add some bots. Yeah, there we go. And, uh, yeah, we'll just choose a champion real quick. Let's choose Ari because that seems to be your guys' favorite, apparently. So there, as you guys could see, it works perfectly in the launcher, in the game, everywhere. The trick is just to select the right version of your launcher. That's literally the only hard part you have to go through. However, do not attempt this if you want to change your language to Korean because that's not how it works at all. Before, it actually used to work exactly this way, like you've guys seen with the Japanese version. You just add the code KOKR instead of JAJP. But it's not like that anymore you need to download an actual korean launcher and so on as i said if you want to see me doing that and showing you how to change your language to korean actually um comment down below and let me know and if you have any other suggestions uh let me know um i hope this helped you out because this time i really really think i've shown literally everything with minimal editing um because people just didn't straight up get it um last time because i've tried to cut things and make things fast but yeah um there you guys go uh i just want to say if you are new here uh please subscribe not because i don't know i need subscribers but because i'm making a lot of league content and i'd love to have some league audience i'm kind of tired of fortnite and my channel was originally league based fucking discord jesus christ Anyways, um, it was league based, so I'm gonna make a bunch of guides, um, custom skins, are you allowed to use them, blah blah blah, interesting facts, so I hope you guys, like, um, I hope you guys, uh, stay, <laughs> Anyway, um, I'm sleep deprived for, like, 20 hours, feels bad, man, I've been, uh, living on an energy drink, and that's very interesting life, indeed. Anyways, I'm making food and it's in the oven for like 20 minutes now and I think it should have been for like only 10 minutes So my kitchen might be burning right now. I don't know. So if I don't upload tomorrow, well That happened and uh, yeah one more thing. I'm uploading daily right now. So that's pretty fun 
<laughs> Jesus Christ, man. All right, I need to go. Peace out, boys. <laughs>